Alrighty, well, day two, October 2nd. Me and James are gonna head down into this spot that is mostly white oaks that we're gonna be targeting. We got a cedar thicket on the other side. It's all thicket at the bottom here. Caden's going left into the thicket. So hopefully the wind right now is in our face. I know it's gonna shift down, but hopefully we can get it to be in our favor all night. It don't swirl. We're gonna try to at least get him on a doe. And then I'm gonna try to get on a doe if he tags one. So with any luck, one, two, maybe even three of us will tag out. We'll see. Let's go bust some does. I know he can hear us because he stopped. The young trees. We just got set up back here, sitting right under this red oak that's dropping. You can hear him dropping around us. Super windy tonight. It's mostly, uh, looks like maple and a lot of poplar down in here. There's a cedar thicket up in front of us. The wind's been swirling, but we're just kind of gambling. We had a spot picked out when we got there. We seen Caden walking through the woods, tracking his way to a place to hunt. Must have turned him right to us, so we went this way and left him that way. Hopefully we can get at least a doe over here. We don't know. We don't have any cameras on this side of the property at all. But property owner said there's a lot of deer in this spot. There's a little bit of sign. And there's food down here. All this green briars in here, all the little ones, every one of them are eat up. There's just no leaves on them. So that's good. There's definitely some foraging. Hopefully the deer don't, deer don't come from our back, but like I said, we're gambling on tonight. We don't even know what's going to happen. But I feel like... Uh, Regardless of wind and goofy situation, it's still going to be good. Hopefully. I think this is a kick-ass looking spot though. Lots of trails. Yeah, it's like the only open spot on this property. Everything else is thicket. We'll see how it goes. I didn't even know if he was going to be able to get a shot. Didn't even have time to turn the GoPro on. He says deer and it's running. I thought we had more time. Go get another shot in her. Yeah, just dropped her in the spot. Big doe. Yeah, you may need to get one right in the lungs. Dude, that was an excellent shot though. For probably 25, 30 yards and you dropped her. Just make sure you get an open shot and put it right behind the shoulder, put it right in the lungs. Just finish her off. Yeah, just take your time, take your time. Calm down. Dude, that happened so quick. Oh, dude. I thought I saw one up there in the middle of the side field because that other one might come back in. But she was smaller anyways. Yeah, the smaller one might come back in.
make sure it's a clean shot. You want to get it because she's at, she'll probably be on her belly. Aim a little low, slide right up in the lungs. Maybe I had another hunter up there or something. Yeah, I thought I saw the one. And then all of a sudden, the other one was clear down here by the time I saw him running down the hill with tails up. Hmm. Well, she's about done now. We'll be able to figure this out from there. But <laughs> yeah, we're sitting right there. We forgot our blind. I'll go get that one. Well. We got done tonight, this big doe. They came flying down this hill. They were 15 yards before we even knew what happened the first one was, and she ran off. This one just stood there staring at us, so I pulled the crossbow up and shot her. She dropped right where we shot. So, definitely can't beat that. Hell of a weekend. Had a buck down yesterday. Got a doe down today. Hopefully Caden might have got one tonight too. We'll see what happens, but as of right now, weekend can't be beat, I don't think. For a good weekend. So, get her all cleaned up, drag out of here, get some pictures taken.